Greetings, one and all. Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Wednesday, July the 13th. And this is actually showing up as an update, but it's an update because it's on console. <clears throat> uh, this is for all platforms now. It was released on uh, PC uh, and Mac earlier, but now here we are for consoles. This is the Case IH Trident 5550 combination applicator by Caesarius modding 62.79 megabytes to download. And we will go through the slot count as we go through each piece. There is your main um, unit, the Trident. We have a sprayer boom. We have some connecting, uh, connecting equipment and a dry box. <clears throat> so um five pieces in total so we will show you what they all do how to put them together and uh well there is a slight problem of course when they have something new coming this complicated to console so stay tuned for those um well could be well it's need definitely it's going to need an update um as you will see but um first Let's look at the sprayer itself. The crop it's in crop protection. Trident 5550, 295,360 dollars, 390 horsepower, 31 miles per hour, and we have quite a few um, options and configurations. We'll start with the tires. Michelin Lizard Trailerborg. So. You say only three choices? Well, there's plenty of choices within those three. Let's start with, um, we start off with the Michelin, I, I do believe. So, in Michelin, we have the narrow tires. We have rear narrows. We have a, well, where it should be a wheel, because there's the wheel. Don't know why you want you would want that. But anyways, duels, and then a little bit of a taller narrow and again through those and then back to standard in lizard you have these big floater tires which i'm pretty sure will destroy crops so just be aware of that then a row crop tire again with the narrows and back to floater now and then we go to trailerberg we have narrows <clears throat> the dual right away with the dual narrows and that's it. So narrows, dual narrows. I have chosen the Michelin with the big tall tires on one of them. And the other one I think I have just regular uh, narrows like dual narrows like this. Something like that. <clears throat> so front LEDs. One LED, two. One and two. LED, one and two. I'm not sure... What that changes, actually. Okay, really, really close by. You got three LEDs or different kind of LEDs. All right. Uh, design, field view monitor that's inside. It's just, if I guess if you, I don't know if it will. We'll see if, I don't know if I didn't, I, I don't know if I chose it or not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll choose. We'll choose that. So we'll go with LED two. Choose a field monitor. Fenders, yes or no. Liquid system display or dry box display. That's inside. So it's going to, depending on what you want to use it for, which is a bit. Well, you would think it would have both, but anyways, uh, let's go with. Uh, I don't know liquid system, and then the Isaria Pro. That'll put it on the mirrors there, as you can see there. So it is precision farm ready, as you will see with uh, the uh, following uh, items. So altogether, 314,809. We'll buy that one because uh, we have two, two things to put on it. And um, we only had one unit. Now... Uh, the first uh, accessory, shall we say, uh, we will look at sprayers. Now, here it is, the Trident Liquid System, 68,280. It, uh, say it only holds 5,300 liters, which is a bit small. If we, well, 
I guess it's smaller than the uh, the other case uh, tri or the case Titan we had. But anyways, uh, that is that at 1.5 tons, 40.2 meters. So that is big. <laughs> 40, 40.2 meters. So it's pretty wide at, now get this, 21 miles per hour. So, uh, so that's herbicide and liquid fertilizer. That is, wow, 21 miles. That's, so I think that's the fastest. Yes, definitely the fastest. I think the, the next one down is 15 miles per hour. So we have sea and spray. Yes, we do. We have spot spraying with this at the 21 miles per hour. So big bonus there. And the design color, we can have it stainless steel or red. Like so. Now, when you put the sea and spray thing, it doesn't, doesn't add any, doesn't show it. Like on the so you don't know which one it is, but it does. It does work as far as I can tell, and I have precision farming uh, activated on this map, right? So the next one is the dry box that will be under fertilizer spreaders, and I'm forgetting to tell you the slots on these. The fertilizer spreader is five slots, sixty-five thousand two hundred and fifty, also at forty-two meters. And only 16 miles per hour, but that's pretty good at 42 meters for lime and for fertilizer. So 42 meters, lime and fertilizer, 18,500 liters. We have a configuration of a red or um, the gray galvanized uh, type look. So yes, um, Interesting, interesting. Now, these, you will need these to attach these to that. <laughs> oh, sorry if I'm being too technical. Now, uh, those you will find under miscellaneous. And here it is. The uh, Trident tool lift. You will need them both. Just remember, Trident tool lifter and quick change tool. Two slots each, 800 and 1,000. So... Once, if you just get, if you're permanently attaching um, these units together, uh, once you're done, you can you can sell these again. Uh, the Trident tool lifter there. This is for a telehandler, only a telehandler, eight hundred bucks. And this one, it says liquid system or dry box. It it doesn't really matter which one you pick. They both work. Um, you'll see that I, I, um, so it doesn't kind of, you can change between, but it doesn't really matter. Right. So there you go. So the, uh, unit Trident unit, 17 slots, sprayer, 17 slots and the spreader five slots. Oh, this five slots and two slots each for there. So now that you know that. Uh, we will show you how to attach. First of all, <laughs> we'll start this up, and we're going to attach the dry box. Uh, oh, before we even do that, let's look at some lights. We have lights. Do we have be we have beacons, signals? There we go. Signals. Signals. We have. No reverse lights, which is mm, understandable. Interior. Now, uh, here is the uh, all the computer screens and so forth and such. Uh, we will look at this. Did we choose? Yes, I think we chose everything on here. So, um, yeah, I mean, they don't work on console. It's there. Um, but we're going to show you how uh, this all works and how we hook up the dry box and put it on the Trident sprayer. So, basically, uh, let's, let's retract this. Uh, this has fallen down. tipped over hold on let me grab let me grab this one here 
That's the other thing. If you uh, let go of it and it tips over, you're pretty much toast. There we go. So we've hooked up the attacher. I'm using this, uh, the uh, Kloss uh, telehandler because it has the longest reach and you're going to need a, a very long reach to get some of these things. So as you can see, the uh, Case IH Quick to Change tool icon has popped up and uh, we have now attached it. Notice it's very swingy. That's uh, going to be like that. Now uh, this one is... Uh, this one I have chosen the liquid um, attachment, uh, but as you can see, we go up to the dry box here and position. So the uh, typically the two bars go to the back. And as we drop it down, we'll get the icon case IHNL. There we go, and it has attached. Now notice the, I do believe. Um, the chains attach in a weird place because I have it have it set for the uh, liquid, but it still works as you can as you'll be able to see. It'll pick it up, so it it doesn't really matter. It's just kind of, and as you can see, it's swinging around violently. <laughs> now, oh sorry, 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 wrong button. Um, now this is the uh, this is the tricky part, and certainly not as tricky as the uh, the sprayer. This one I was able to set on here, so like so. If you just need to, you have to get it pretty close. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Okay, let's try. Make sure you're when you're letting go, you have the uh, the box itself highlighted. There it is. It's go oh man, that's not good. Ah, uh, oh crap. As you can see, it is not the easiest thing to attach. Press the wrong button at the wrong time, and oh. It took literally took me half an hour to get the um, ah <laughs> right. So um, I don't think it's gonna. Uh, I don't think it's going to uh, be good. Oh. No. Oh, there we go. We got it to... <laughs> we cut it a sneak in there. Oh, my goodness. Right. So, if we go in cab here... Yeah, it doesn't... I don't think it matters which... Yeah. The old one, it would show you that you had the box on the, on the monitor, but this one... This one, it did not, but... Um, all right, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, demonstrate getting this one on. We're going to try. I'm going to show you, and then um, it 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 was. Um, I'm going to show you the kind of the way, the little bit of a trick of the way, a way, the trick of the way uh, that I kind of. Uh, Okay, this is this is ridiculous. Let's sell one of those. There we go. All right. So, just remember the uh, the long ends go to the front. So, because it swings around so much, you're gonna get you're gonna make sure that icon is very solidly. Oh. And here's another thing. It's like I can't lift it. What am I? What's going on? Oh, so you got to make sure that your the telehandler itself is highlighted. Otherwise, you won't get your ability to lift 
it screwed me up for the longest time because if you go to highlight the 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 what you're carrying you can't lift and tuck the uh <laughs> the telehandler so make sure you're uh you have the telehandler activated as you are carrying this now basically the best way i found to do this and it's quite heavy is now that you have it up in the air take the unit itself and back it up underneath it as close as possible and you want the tank to be right behind the cab pretty much like so so then when you drop it you're not doing a lot of moving around and dropping and so here very gently try to drop it and I think that's about now now you have to make sure you highlight the sprayer itself when you drop it, otherwise you're going to drop everything. There we go. And it's going to do some kind of a weird thing like that. And hopefully when we get in it now... Oh my goodness. It has connected. <laughs> Whew. Let me tell you, I fought with it for at least half an hour before I figured out that part. So hopefully that helps you out with connecting it. Once it's connected, I would... I would I would recommend never taking it off, just buying another one if you want to use a dry box, because it is, it is a frustration that could drive you to pull your hair out. Now, you can fill it from um, uh, by anything point, or from IBS container, or IBC containers, however you like. Um, I have one out in field, I have one of each out in the field. Uh, this we'll talk about in a moment. Uh, here's one with um, fertilizer in it. We'll let the worker take off. The worker worked uh, with this, with the fertilizer and with the lime. No problem whatsoever. Very good. Uh, 17 miles an hour. That's excellent for 42 meters. As far as I know, it is the fast, on console, the fastest and widest uh, spreader of fertilizer and lime that we have now. So... If just for that, um, unfortunately, the the lime ran out fairly quickly. So, you know, if you have, um, there are ways, you know, I mean, you can have a, uh, a truck with lime close by to refill it from and uh, various other types of things. Um, so, works very well that way. Now... As for the sprayer, you can see some missing bits here. I'm going to set the sprayer off. Uh, the other thing is the, the width is not showing. I can adjust the width, uh, L1 and R3, change the width, but none of the numbers change. And I, I think it's something's obviously missing there. If we go back to this we can change the width and see the numbers on the uh, bottom left 42 meters 36 meters 30 21 18 down to 15 meters if you want spread so you can limit it to 15 no problem but if you hire a worker they automatically go to the widest width just so you know right so back to this uh, I, I can change the width, but it doesn't tell me the width. I think that's something a little bit going on there. Um, we have the... Uh, oh, let's go back to this. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of... You can turn it on or turn it off, basically. That's... Uh, what is this? I don't know what the R1 and the right... Oh, there we go. We can open and close the door. Oh, glory be. Thank goodness we can open the door. Um, oh, and... <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm missing things. L1 and R1. You can uh, spread out those uh, the width of those tires if you so wish to do so. L1 and R1 and your right stick left and right. 
if you're on a slopey slope kind of a thing and you want to do that. Uh, otherwise, I, as you can see, I have precision farming on, so there's lots of extra information. Right, so back to this. Let's hire the worker. And uh, with the dry box on, they turned. he turned around, no problem. He just went forward, turned around, went back. No problems at all. But this one, as you can see here, I will show you because it's very strange i i've seen this before with a lot of workers um so it's very unfortunate that um for whatever reason they do this so he's up to this point it's okay but when he backs up he does this and now he starts spraying and going forward so it's the same with the fertilizer and the herbicide. As you can see, he's missed all those bits on the ends. Uh, for the turnaround, you're going to be missing a bunch of stuff. So that's quite unfortunate. Of course, if you're operating it yourself and you turn on your fertilizer, you're traveling at 22 miles per hour fertilizing. That is outstanding. However, it's extremely unfortunate that... Um, that the worker does the missing thing. Now, these these all have that. Um, I have this is set to those precision spot spring, and it doesn't look any different than the one that doesn't have spot spring. And but as far as I can tell, the spot spring works. I tried it out on. Um, uh, let's get. Uh, there we go. I tried it out over here. As you can see, I did some um, spot, well, that's pretty covered with weeds. But he was doing the same thing here and here and here with the, uh, with the herbicide. So, unfortunately, I hopefully that's going to get an update for the workers using this, doing this kind of thing. Not sure. But anyways, um, right. Uh, I think that pretty much covers it. Good luck. Uh, please uh, just be patient placing um, the, the back attachments on these things. Um, try the method where you put it up in the air and you drive the unit underneath and then kind of settle it down because if you're trying to move around it's quite heavy and the telehandler is like kind of rocking and rolling so give that a try and hopefully that's going to work for you even if you want to try the the um, the liquid attachment it's kind of broken right now so anyways without taking any further more of your time that my friends is the uh, case ih trident 5550 combination applicator by cesarius modding now for all platforms 62.79 megabytes to download i'm Lily farm guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now